Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beth and I am a homeschool mom to two, a five-year-old and a three-year-old. I made a previous video stating um, that we were using Memoria Press for our kindergarten curriculum, everything except for their math program. And um, if you didn't check out that video, I will link it above. Go ahead and watch that for some really good um, flip throughs of the Memoria Press curriculum because it's really rich and great. But for math, we decided to go a different route and we chose um, Right Start Math Level K. I'm sorry, Level A. Uh, level A, it's the red one. And um, I'm going to kind of quickly flip through the teacher's manual and the workbook. Um, and then I'm going to show you all of the manipulatives that came with um, his math kit. So let's get started. So when his math kit came, I kind of was a little um, surprised at how many manipulatives really came. And so I had to buy this IKEA um, like storage unit to, to house all of his stuff. Um, so we're just going to go like bin by bin and I'm going to show you what is in each of it. Okay, so first we have all of the manuals, um, or I guess all of the books. It comes with three books for level A. And then once you have this book and this book, you don't need to purchase them again. So you, when your child is ready for the next level, you just have to purchase the worksheets and the um, teacher's manual. So the teacher's manual is pretty basic um, as far as teacher's manual goes. Here's kind of, again, a scope and sequence for the year. It breaks it down by quarters and then um, kind of what you're going to learn. There are some suggestions of books that you can read with each, um, like, with each lesson. So in, like, lesson 39, here are some um, supplement supple supplementing reading that you can put in there um, and stuff like that. There are a few of the lessons that do require additional materials, and so it's listed here, but then also um, at the beginning of every lesson, there is like a supplies needed section, and it will tell you also in there. So again, here's just about the program. These are some really cool, um, like... They say general thoughts, but, like, just really interesting things to think about with math and things like that. Right, start mathematics, second edition, and then daily lessons, and it kind of breaks down what each of your daily lesson is going to consist of. Here is your table of contents. You do have a few... Um, assessments throughout the program and then at the very end of the year you have a very big assessment kind of a uh, accumulative understanding of all of the lessons that you went over so it's a pretty um, pretty great introduction to your basic math concepts um, they do follow a spiral like method of learning math and so it's not like a mastery level they do spend a few lessons on each topic and then they go on and then they um, review later on so lesson one is subitizing one to three and so here again are your materials that you're going to need and then what they're learning in this lesson the yellow in the sun book is this one right here and it basically just goes through and it shows all the different ways to make one. The abacus is a very, very large part of this math curriculum. And so you're using it almost every lesson. Um, when you get into like time and things like that, maybe not so much. But definitely in the subitizing and the place value, um, adding and uh, subtracting, you're definitely using this a whole lot. So that's the yellow is the sum book, and then it'll just literally give you, like, what to say. It's very scripted, and I really like that. 
And then here are some explanations on the side for like why you're doing some of the things that you do on this side or just to give you um, some additional tips. And each lesson is pretty much the same as far as like its makeup, has the objectives, the materials, and then the lesson. So there are um, a lot of lessons in here that do take a while. Some of them are very quick, but most of them we found, and we're not all the way done with it, but again, we're in our third quarter. Or, I'm sorry, we just started the fourth quarter, so we are pretty much um, getting to the end of the book. But there are a, l a few lessons that took us a really long time because they do have these warm-up activities. And, um, again, you're going to have to use your discretion as far as the time commitment you want your child to be doing math. I have found that at kind of the half hour, 40 minute mark, my son just kind of taps out. So usually, um, I don't want to take away any of the, the the bulk of the material. So usually it's some of the warm ups that we kind of skip to, to skim down on our lessons. So that's the um, teacher's manual. Um, again, really scripted, really easy to use, and it will just basically tell you everything that you need for that lesson. In the back, it has an appendix where you're going to be using a lot of different, um, cards. Again, what I did was I copied all of this and then printed out, put in, printed it out on cardstock. Again, this is just normal paper, so it, it's pretty flimsy, and so you're using these um, quite often, and so I wanted them to be able to stand up. There you go. There you go. And then there are some, um, you know what, I'm going to get that out. There are some um, songs that they have you sing as well, just to solidify some of the concepts that you're talking about. And so it comes with a CD. And again, um, just a great way to um, do like memory things, memory work, is to sing it to a song. And so my three-year-old... Uh, knows all of the songs on the CD by heart, and they're just, it's really cute to hear her say it. But you're going through um, time, addition, subtraction, all of these things in the book. So that's the teacher's manual. And then with the worksheets, um, I like this because this math program is very hands-on, and I'm going to show you that um, in a second. But this is not a very worksheet heavy program. I mean, this book, I think there's only like, um, I don't even know, like 50, maybe 45 worksheets in this whole thing. Um, so you're not doing a worksheet every single day. So it's very um, simple, basically. And again, in the teacher's manual, it tells you Everything that you need to be doing in here. They do practice handwriting on numbers. There's a lot of cutting and pasting. Um, but again, the use of the worksheet is not the norm for this program. So if your child thrives on worksheets, this probably is not the, the program for you. Here's one of his assessments that he had to do. We started getting into measurements, again, clocks, and time. In the back of their book is the um, end-of-year assessment. They also have a math journal here, a few um, pages of, the, of a math journal. These are my notes from his earlier assessments. So here's one of his um, assessments that were, was a few pages, but then here is the end-of-year assessment one. And then there's just things he has to answer, assessment two, assessment three, assessment four, and then number five. And then at the end of the worksheet, there's like a little 
little certificate, which is pretty cool. So I found that really, um, really cool that there's not a whole lot of worksheets involved with this math. The bulk of it is games, um, math card games. And so this book is split up by, um, the concept you're learning. So number sense, addition, clocks, multiplication. This is for, um, all of the levels of Right Start Math. So you're really only doing like a few. And again, in the teacher's manual, it tells you what page to do um, and like what number. So N for number sense. So N1. And here's like N17. And then it goes to addition, clocks, multiplication, fractions, all that stuff. So this is where they're getting the reinforcement of their concepts. So not again, not through worksheets, but through playing games. And you're, all of these cards come with the math manipulative kit. So um, you get that. <clears throat> so on to the manipulatives kit. I haven't opened this yet because we haven't done fractions. But they're just little fraction um, tiles. And um, a fraction chart on the back here. This math balance is probably one of my favorite things that we have. You have these weights, and then it can it's used for equations, it's used for addition, all kinds of different things, so you can balance it. And then um, if you need to find out what makes two, it would be one and one, and then it balances. And I mean, you can use this for, oh my goodness, so many applications. But again, what a fun way to learn about math, like to actually see it in action instead of just memorizing stuff. That is, again, one of the things that drew me to Right Start Math is all of the manipulatives. So I have all of the bins sitting here next to me. We're just literally going to open up each one and go through it. It comes with a clock. Extra... Um, weights for the balance, and then a thing of coins. Um, I, again, have a three-year-old, and she loves to participate with us, so I went to the dollar store and bought, like, a, a play money thing so that um, she can participate as well. This is a reflection, um, like a, a thing to, pa to practice reflections and things, and symmetry. We have used this in level A. We have not used these um, geometry panels yet. I think that comes in a later um, level. But again, they give you everything you need for the whole course of the program, and then you can just store it until you need it. Uh, wooden geometry solids. These are all of the cards that you're going to be using. I chose to keep them like all in the same um, bin just to make it easier. Um, so here are some clock cards. You use this for, again, time. Place value cards. It comes in ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Um, that's a really good way to, again, reinforce place value. Abacus tiles. Just uh, number, number cards. And then base 10 picture cards. <laughs> These are number cards. You use these basically for all of the um, games in the math card game book. The fraction deck and a money card deck. In here I have all of the um, things from the appendix that I printed and cut out. So um, all of these subitizing cards, hand cards, um, tally stick cards, anything that came in the back 
that we needed for lessons. Again, I copied and printed it out on cardstock, and then they go in here. These are like multiplication decks. Um, so in each um, envelope, it goes by number. I just haven't put them back from where they, when I pulled them out. Again, they're just like number cards, and you use those for various activities. So that one I tried and keep as organized as possible because there are a lot of little cards in there. Next, we have our tiles, centimeter cubes, tally sticks, and tanagrams. It comes with a uh, meter stick that folds out, which you can also use for like a ruler at first. And it comes also with a protractor. And then I've just collected like extra, um, an extra ruler in there for, again, my daughter. She likes to participate. And then the last bin has the abacus in it. Again, you're using this almost every lesson. Um, I love that. I really do. And then some geo boards. It comes with two of them and then a bunch of rubber bands. So that's the gist of Right Start Math. When we're finished with the program, I'll do another video on um, kind of reviewing everything that I thought was great, everything I didn't like necessarily. Um, but for the most part, I'm really happy with it. And so that is what we chose for our kindergarten math curriculum. I will see you later, and thanks for watching.